What's up, everybody? Check out my book online, Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block. So I was listening to Donald Trump on a radio. Not Donald Trump. I was listening to Al Sharpton. He was talking about politics and stuff like that and talking about the black vote. And first of all, you must realize that black people do not vote as a group. So our vote doesn't necessarily count in that manner. You know, black people vote Democrat automatically or we vote Republican. But then you got some that vote uh, um, independent. But black, but black people's vote doesn't necessarily count because black people don't stick together as a group. They're not a community like people keep trying to say. See, like if you go in a black neighborhood, these corner stores are owned by Arabs. And the cleanest, the cleanest, the laundromat, the liquor stores, and the Chinese restaurants are owned by the Asians. And uh, uh, the Jews own the real estate. In black communities, black people don't own and control anything. Black people only own and control one half of 1% of this nation's wealth. We don't own and control anything. We're just consumers. And that's all America has us here for, to control, to, uh, to create wealth and comfort for white people. Even when you look at the well of black people like Oprah Winfrey, you always name Oprah, Jay-Z, Puffy, Diddy, and all these people. What do they own and control? They don't own and control. When you go downtown, and you look at those big ass skyscrapers here in New York City, or them big ass skyscrapers in any major city in America, black people don't own or control any of those buildings. And those buildings symbolize wealth. Those are the movers and the shakers of the world. Those are the ones that dictate policy in America. And black people do not own and control anything of substance in America. Not even, you know, like the only thing we're here to do is to create comfort and wealth for white people. So when you look at all the music that Jay-Z and these guys are putting out, they can't make money unless they make money with white people. Dr. Dre is a billionaire, but he can't become a billionaire unless he's helping white people. You know, Oprah Winfrey is making money. Who's she help? She helping people. She's helping people in Africa. How can Africa help us? She needs to help people here in Chicago. Why she, in New, you know, help people in, not in, this is, I'm in New York City, but she needs to help people there in Chicago where she's from. Why is she busy helping people in Africa? That doesn't that doesn't make sense. You know, like when uh, when uh, um, who's the other guy, a rapper, Fifty Cent? Why was he helping people in Africa? He needed to help people in Queens. Certain parts of Queens look just like fucking Africa. You know, Africa is doing. Africa got their problems. America has their problems. Black Americans have their problems. We should have, worry about us first. Then we can help them. But, you know, we get on the radio and we talk about politics and Democrat and Republican. That shit don't mean shit. That shit don't mean nothing to black people because black people are all over the place like shattered pieces of glass. We don't vote together as a group. Like I told you before, we don't have groups. We don't have communities. It doesn't necessarily matter how we vote. It's not going to help black people because black people are too busy trying to be in everybody else's business. We gay. We straight. We Democrat, Republicans, we Alpha, we Kappa, we Q Dogs, we Bloods, we Crips. Uh, we all over the fucking place, man. Black people don't need, black people need to stick together as a group. Then our votes will count. And then we can put people in the office that means something that counts for us the same way the Italians do. When you ever look at old mafia movies, they always talk about buying politicians. Black people don't buy politicians because we don't have money to buy politicians. And the politicians are the ones that dictate the policy and the courts and shit and how they handle our affairs. But black people don't look at it like that. We're too busy thinking that we've made it in America and we have arrived. But Donald Trump become president, he's going to show black people just what the fuck we are. You're going to see. Watch and see. All right, y'all.